Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Scented Moments channel. I'm Jolima. In this video, I want to talk about my favorite leather fragrances. This is for me the ultimate leather list. I have here 15 fragrances and I will rank them from the 15th until my favorite, my number one uh, leather fragrance. And I have here just three designers. Um, well, it is what it is, but still, I think this is a terrific list, in my opinion, of course. Now, the number 15, and this was very hard to rank, because, again, this ranking fragrances is always unfair, uh, because, first of all, for me, because I'm constantly changing my tastes, and even tomorrow I might change the the order of, of this, this list, because I love every each and single one of these fragrances. Um, I love leathers and I think if you're searching for a leather fragrance, because you don't need 15 leather fragrances, if you're searching for one or two leather fragrances, I think any of these would work wonderfully. With that being said, number 15 and I will rank to this day, uh, this will be my my options, this will be my ranking. Number 15, it's an amazing scent from House of Bulgari. It is Man in Black. This one right here. I love this bottle presentation. It's very heavy, thick bottle. Uh, and even you can twist the cap like so and then it's locked. Um, this is great for traveling. But this fragrance is all about spices, rum, and leather. Number 15, because when compared with other leather fragrances that I will feature, the leather in here, it's a bit more soft, it's a bit more tamed, it's there, it's present, but, well, when compared with the others that I will feature, I mean, this one loses in terms of strength, uh, leather strength, to, uh, let's say. This is often compared to Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb, the original, where, and I can see the resemblance because of the spiciness. This has lots of pepper, but this for me, it's much better. Uh, this is more complex, this is more masculine, this is more seductive, and the performance, at least on me, I think it's uh, definitely much better on me, of course. And this, again, it's sweet because of the rum, it's boozy, I love boozy fragrances. Then you have the spices and then you have leather. I wanted to feature also Bulgari Black Orient, where the leather is more pronounced and also you have wood and a hint of rose. I mean, it's even more complex, more dark, more oriental. But because that one is discontinued and very hard to find, I'm just featuring the original, which is really, really good. I, <laughs> by a mild shot, I prefer this one to the original Spice Foam. This is very different from Spice Foam Extreme though. Spice Foam Extreme, it's tobacco with cinnamon, vanilla, completely different. This one is amazing. Number 15 is Bulgari Man in Black. Number 14, Rassasi Laiukawampu Om. This one right here. I don't know if you can see how much I already wore this fragrance. And that's why this is number five, uh, 14. Um, this is the reason why I don't have Tuscan leather. Also the reason why I don't have Ombre leather, but I'm starting to change my mind about Ombre leather uh, because I revisited it um, a couple of weeks ago. And actually, yeah, I was quite impressed. Um, I think it's worth having. It's different enough to worth, be worth having Laiukawam and uh, Ombre Leather. Nonetheless, this is a great scent. You don't need Tuscan Leather because this is the only clone that I have. Um, and this is, I mean, <laughs> so good and the same. Although, well, the same, this has a slight difference. This is a bit more fruity. The raspberry here, it's definitely more pronounced, but this is very, very leathery bit ashy and this is definitely not for everyone my girlfriend actually hates this fragrance um i love it but number 14 because i'm a bit tired of this scent uh i wore it a lot but now i grew a bit tired of it maybe i will revisit it sometime soon and i will change my opinion again but as of now i'm a bit tired of this 
fruity raspberry leather DNA that's why this is in number 14 high quality fragrance and much more affordable than Tuscan leather and even ombre leather it's a great scent it's Laiukawam by Krasasi Laiukawam Puh Om number 14 number 13 from the house of Aqua di Parma Colonia leather this is the old bottle presentation uh, nowadays you have uh, all black with yellow lettering I think they didn't reformulate it but don't quote me on that um, but this one here is in number 13 because it's another fragrance I used a lot uh, also back in the day when I discovered this one in 2018 um, also I wore it in during 2019 but Again, the leather in here shares some similarities to Laiukawam and Tuscan leather, but instead of uh, fruity nuances, instead of raspberry, have citruses, which is very common in Aqua di Parma fragrances. And you have also oud, and the oud in here is quite similar to the oud of Aqua di Parma. Um, this is for me a bit more superior than Laiukawam because it's more gentlemanly, because it's more elegant. Um, this has that Italian sophistication in here, and that's why I prefer it slightly to Laiukawam, but nonetheless, it's both are fantastic. This is another scent that it's just number 13 because, again, I'm a bit tired of this type of leather, of this Tuscan leather-like type of leather, if that makes sense. So that's why this is not just number 13, but still, it's a tremendous leather. If you are starting to dive into leathers, if even you're starting to dive into niche fragrances, I think this is a great start. It's Aqua di Parma Colonia Leather. Coming in number 12, it's from House of Flores. Leather Oud, this one right here. Uh, huge dent. Yes, and also that's the reason why this is so low. <laughs> because, man, I absolutely love this, but I really love this. Wow. It, this, is, this goes in the same vein of Aqua di Parma, but it's still different because Aqua di Parma has more citruses. Here you just have the bergamot, but which is really pronounced, it's like the herbal, because this has carnation and gardenia uh, with a touch of bergamot. So you have this floral, herbal-like um, opening and then starts to develop into a very medicinal oud with leather. The leather here is definitely very pronounced. Um, it's a bit oily even. With this medicinal oud, it's amazing. And in the opening you have this floral, herbal nuance. It's a great high quality scent and in terms of leather, I think it's superior than Aqua di Parma even and definitely this exudes sophistication, masculinity, gentlemanly, you name it. This is fantastic. This for me, it's signature scent worthy, uh, although it might be a bit heavy for the warm weather, but still, I think this is signature scent worthy. It's a fantastic scent, very different from leather root uh, from Dior. Uh, this is not animalic. It's more medicinal, the wood in here, and definitely this is much more wearable. It's a great scent, high quality ingredients in here. I simply love this one. Uh, number 12, just because, well, I already wore this a lot and I want to have other options. Uh, so that's why this is a bit low, but still high quality leather right here. It's Floris Leather Wood. Now I'm coming in number 11. This was hard. It's from the house of Mathieu Premier and it is Falcon Leather. Yes, uh, I love this fragrance. This is a newcomer-ish to my collection, but you all know how much I love this house. I love this fragrance, but number 11, because when comparing with the other fragrances, other leather fragrances that I will feature, the leather in here, it's not that intense. It's not that raw. It's not that raw, rugged leather. This is sweet. This is all about labdanum, 
and benzoin and then you have birch tar it's very smoky and then you have the a leathery impression it's an addicting scent it's very sexy it's even edible um, but I wanted to feature it just in number 11 because of that because of the leather itself it's not that intense you have for me the labdanum and the benzoin with a hint of birch tar are definitely more pronounced and you, st you still can sense the leather in here definitely but it's more tamed i still love this one uh this lasts it's also spicy you have saffron in here as well so you know you have other notes that they are more pronounced than leather itself still love it it's very addicting it's very sexy for me of course i have a sweet tooth that's why i love this very long lasting could be higher of course maybe tomorrow would be higher or will be higher but today it's just number 11 still high quality scent it's falcon leather from Mathieu premier now we are going to the top 10. Number 10, it's from the house of Sergeov. Wonderful discovery here. It is Cruz del Sur 1. This one right here. I absolutely love the bottle presentation of Sergeov. Um, Cruz del Sur 1, a great discovery of last year, 2021. This fragrance is an animalic smoky leather. Now, this, oh, wow, this is, this is something else. Completely different from Cruz del Sur 2, which I absolutely love, but Cruz del Sur 2, it's all about mango, it's vanillic, milky mango, realistic mango, actually, the best fruity fragrance that I came across so far because of the realistic nuance of the mango. This is completely different and this is very original from the house of Sergeov and high quality scent, very underrated. So you have rum, you have grape, um, and then you have jasmine, uh, you have a hint of gardenia if I'm not mistaken, you have floral nuances in here. Then you have castorium, you have labdanum, you have a pulponax, like interlude imagine, uh, and leather of course. So this for you to have an idea this is like interlude but more leathery a bit less resinous and a bit boozy it's amazing this fragrance is amazing um, no i'm not saying that this smells similar to interlude it doesn't but the opoponax in here uh gives you a hint yeah i just want to give you a hint of how this smells like so it's really incredible resinous it's spicy, it's animalic, it's leathery. Number 10, because just like the Mentier Premier, the leather in here, while is, um, it's noticeable, not as much as the others that I will feature. Um, but this is fantastic. And also it's quite smoky, it has an incense, frankincense in here. Uh, it's very dry and the booziness and the fruitiness although gives a sweet touch it's not overly sweet not at all it's a great scent it's Cruja Sur 1 from the house of Sergio coming number nine I needed to feature this fragrance it's from the house of Hermes and it is Bellamy Vetiver I absolutely love this fragrance Bellamy Vetiver is all about leather and vetiver. Very different from the original Bellamy. It's not as spicy as the original Bellamy. This is dry. This is like a masculine modern Chypre fragrance. Wow. It's dusty, it's leathery, and lots of vetiver. It's very earthy and grassy a bit, a bit mossy even. And it's magical. It's for me, signature scent worthy for the springtime. Um, actually, this could be a signature scent for the entire year, but it's more, I, mean, I think it, this leans more towards colder weather, uh, colder spring days. Well, actually last year, this was my number one spring scent. I absolutely love this. It's um, my favorite 
uh, actually my favorite from Hermes in the more mainstream line. It's definitely this one. It's Bellamy Vetiver and it's readily available. Um, number nine could be higher, actually. I don't have here a specific reason. Well, I actually I have. It's because I will feature another Hermes um, uh, soon. So uh, that's why this is a bit lower. Still, this is a fantastic scent. It's Bellamy Vetiver. Now coming in number eight, underrated. It's so underrated, this fragrance. It's from the house of Mona Diorio and it is queer. Queer is simply to die for. I really like this bottle presentation, very unique, very heavy bottle actually. This, number eight, I was debating if this would be on my top five or not because this scent is magical. It's so, so good. But this ended up a bit lower because the leather, it's not the main note. Again, it's here, it's present, you can smell it, but this is very smoky. So you have absinthe, you have juniper, and, and then you have leather. It's very smoky also, so this is, smells like smoked juniper, if that makes sense. And the leather here, it's oily also. This has like a cade oil feel and it's quite dark, very smoky, almost to the point of like barbecue smoke, if that makes sense, but it's just in the opening. Then uh, when it starts to develop, you get more leather nuances, definitely, but the end result is a magical fragrance overall. If you are familiarized with, for example, Fumidus from Profum Broma, although Fumidus is more intense and even more smoky, but goes in that territory. Basically, if you like dry, smoky, masculine, dark fragrances, I think you will love this one. This is a fantastic scent, also very spicy. Um, could easily be number five because of its quality, because of the blend. Um, it's a terrific leather, very long lasting too, and very unique for a leather, actually. It's Mona Diorio's Queer number eight. Now coming in the number seven spot, it's from the house of Gucci, Gucci Guilty Absolute. Now, this one is simply one of the best leathers out there. Now this is raw industrial smoked leather, Whew, dark leather with vetiver. While in Bellamy vetiver, the leather, it's more sophisticated. Here it's raw, it's rugged, it's intense, very intense. Wow. Number seven, well, because this is discontinued, this will be hard to find. I think this is still available in the online discounters, but this is not for everyone. Um, this was not a little at first sniff for me when I first tried it. Um, so just last year when I revisited, I fell in love with it. That's why I have a full bottle now. Um, but this is definitely not for everyone. This is very masculine. This is like an 80s powerhousing um, in the present so just for you to have an idea that this definitely it's not for everyone it's very dry no sweetness in here whatsoever it's really industrial leather i think it's the best way to describe this with a grassy uh, woodsy vetiver it's amazing this is gucci guilty absolute and if you're searching for a rugged leather in a designer side that will not break the bank at least for now while it's still available in the online discounters i think gucci guilty absolute is a fantastic choice number seven spot number six a leather list would not be complete without this classic scent Knits 10 the original now i never smelled the gold edition um but this one is so good wow Oof. Now this this is incredible. Another fragrance that I was thinking maybe I would I will include in my top five. In the end I didn't because 
to wear this fragrance you really need to be in the mood because this this has like an old school feel to it although it's very wearable and it feels still modern but it has old school vibes if that makes sense so this is very herbal floral you have rose and carnation it's spicy and leathery it's dusty oh, it's so good it's so so good i actually prefer this one to cuir de russie from chanel i know i know cuir de russie has its followers not saying that cuir de russie is bad actually i enjoy that one but i don't feel the need to have both at least not right now um and i feel that this one it's fuller you know it's more dense it's more intense and it's just it feels my nostrils better <laughs> if that makes sense wow but this is masculine this is elegant still this is old world old money <laughs> if that makes sense yeah it's incredible a fantastic leather one of the best in the game to this day and uh, i think this was released in 1920 or before even i don't recall but this is already quite old but it's like fine wine it's knead's 10 in number six number six spot coming in the number five now we are in the top five finally from the house of guerlain from the les absolus d'orient Intense. Wow. Now, this is something else. This is powerful. This is all about leather. This is intense. This has osmanthus, and osmanthus gives like a floral, floral, fruity, like apricot like feel. You have ylang ylang in here, and I usually, it's hard for me to appreciate ylang ylang, but here, it's not that that noticeable. Uh, the Osmanthus is more noticeable. And leather, I mean. You also have a touch of, I will say ambergris because this kind of reminds me of Ensemble Mythique for some reason. This, for me, it's like Ensemble Mythique minus the rose and add lots of leather, like terry leather, terry brown leather with Osmanthus. It's like this fragrance smells to me. It's amazing, but the leather here, it's definitely the most prominent note. It's full, intense, loud, a bit sweet because of the osmanthus maybe. And it's just powerful. It's one of the most powerful fragrances that I have in my collection. So if you want a raw, rugged leather, check this one out. It's Cuir Intense from Guerlain from the Les Absolus d'Orient, number five spot. Talking about rugged leather, number four spot, it's from the house of Rania J, Cuir Andalou. This is a 50 ml and it's all you need. If you like Fahrenheit, you will love this one. This, uh, for me, is petrol leather. <sighs> Intense, raw, realistic petrol leather. Wow, this is out of this world i absolutely love this this also has a hint of like resinous nuances in here it's oh, it's amazing it's magical it's one of the best leather fragrances ever in my opinion it's just done right and hanya j i mean hanya j is a terrific house i have four fragrances from uh, this house and uh, it's a, a fragrance house that I highly recommend you to explore, especially this one if you love leathers and especially if you love Fahrenheit. I think this is a must have. It's Cuir Andalou from Rania J and it's very long lasting, also. Coming in number three spot, a designer, the last design. Well, technically, it's not the last designer, but it's a designer nonetheless. Uh, it's from the house of Dio. No surprises, Zio en Parfum. This is the best uh, concoction of leather and iris. I absolutely love this. This is one of my all time favorite designers. Wow, this is out of this world, man. Iris, 
it's buttery, it's a bit makeup y, not as makeup y as the Armin Tons, for example. Although the today's version of the Armin Tons is also not as makeup y as it once was, but still, the makeup y nuances here are definitely toned down. It's more of that butchery iris or orris root with rose and lots of leather and woods. Wow, this is magical. This is simply one of the best design fragrances ever created, in my opinion. Uh, it's the legacy of uh, François de Maché in here. Uh, this is Dion Parfum. Again, the best uh, example of iris leather. Of course, I mean, it's still available, it's out there, it's not discontinued, now comes in the 100ml. It's harder to find, of course, than it once was, but I still think it's the best in this genre. You can try, like, Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum, which I have. Um, it's still very different, it's more resinous, vanillic, uh, and iris. You have Valentino No Uomo Intense, which is also fantastic, terrific. Um, Prado Lom Intense, which will be discontinued, or is discontinued, I guess. Um, so you still have quite a few fine examples, but this is the best of them. Even, I mean, Geom Intense also has uh, leathery nuances, but I think this is still much better. It's Geom Parfum, simply to die for. Coming in the number two spot. It's an expensive one, but it's... Well, it's number two. <laughs> it's from the house of Pure Distance, and it is Pure Distance M. This one right here. Pure Distance M. Well, this says that it was created by Roger Dove, um, but scent in here is too <laughs> I will not call this a masterpiece just because this is very inspired in Bellamy by Hermès, the original Bellamy. But it definitely has more body, definitely has more character. It has a more density. This is very spicy like Bellamy. It's very leathery, very smoky, like incense-y. Has also, for me, it seems like has a touch of juniper as well. So it's very spicy, juniper, smoky leather. So elegant, so um, refined. This, for me, it smells expensive. This, well, this is an expensive fragrance. Maybe that's, <laughs> that explains. Um, but every time I smell this fragrance, I just think of formal events special occasions and usually it's when i wear this fragrance and i also always receive good feedback with this fragrance which is something that i never imagined because this is not for everyone the spices in here like cumin saffron i mean can be challenging and are usually but in here well, maybe with my body chemistry, it works uh, and people do enjoy it. Uh, this is quite intense. This is an extrait de parfum, so it's loud, uh, but it's not overwhelming to, uh, because this has a natural feel into it. Uh, this is very rounded, very well blended, and it's for me. That's oh man, this is so good. <laughs> it's a type of fragrance that I will always cherish, I will always have it in my collection. It's also quite dark, very mysterious, very sensual, very, very sensual. Oof, it's amazing. It's number two. Um, a great leather, spicy leather, it's fantastic. It's pure distance. M number one. No surprises because I already talked about this fragrance recently and it's a designer but in the more expensive side of things. It's from the House of Hermès again and that's why Bellamy was lower and it is Cuir d'Ange. Cuir d'Ange is in another league. Cuir d'Ange is... It was my scent of the day, my first scent of the day of the year. And this is... <laughs> is magical this is all about leather and it's very salty it has a floral nuance in here it's also quite musky it 
it's to die for, it's very long lasting, it's simply... I'm speechless, this fragrance is an experience that you should have actually for yourself. Um, I think it's one of the finest, if not the finest fragrance from Hermes overall. It's a uh, queer d'ange, a tremendous leather and it's it's so balanced, it doesn't need to be loud, doesn't need to be bold or raw or industrial, no, it's like a brown realistic um, leather, like terry leather as well, but not as intense as Queer Intense or as uh, Queer Anulu. And it has delicacy in it. Uh, it has delicate uh, nuances with the florals, with the musk, with a salty new nature. It's quite dry, also doesn't have any sweetness. It's just done to perfection. It's the perfect leather scent. Wearable, elegant, refined, unique, amazing. And of course, it has a performance, so it has everything. Um, that's why it's my favorite leather as of now is Hermes Cuir d'Ange. Guys, hope you enjoy my video, it's, I, which I think it's already long. Uh, tell me in the comments down below what are your favorite leather fragrances and see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Ciao.